Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyopolis 5. In the last episode, we made ourselves a plane which we used to travel between islands, but it glitched in some way, or I'm just a really bad pilot, but we fell into the void and got stuck on that island, so I had to bridge across back here. So there's two things I want to start off doing. First of all is we need another totem of void undying, so we just pop this blank totem here in the furnace. And then next thing, I want to make a helicopter. So I feel like a helicopter's gonna be much better than a plane. Can I just make this thing out of wood or is there more things I can do to make? I'm gonna just make it out of wood for now, but I need two propellers. And the propellers were made by this andesite, andesite alloy here. Right, so there's my totem of void undying. I'm pretty sure it can just be in my inventory. And then I've got some seared stone here to make this andesite alloy. Okay, so this should be enough for the propeller. Which I remember being that recipe. And then we're just going to place that in here with wood. Oh, dark oak one. So we want a helicopter. Right, now, we've got this thing here. I have no idea how to control it, but I'm guessing we're going to need to do an engine as well. So, that was it. Oh, we can make an electric engine, that's cool. Let's, let's have a look at the mod and see what else we can make. Oh, there's upgrades. Oh, that's simple storage networks. Um, simple planes is what I want. So that's the charging station for the electric one, clearly. Furnace engine is what we're going to make. Folding upgrade. Does that mean I can pick it up? That's cool. A parachute might be useful. I don't know what the seats upgrade would do. I guess that just puts more seats on it. But I think I just want to go for the furnace engine for now. So I need more of that andesite alloy and a furnace. Do I even have enough stone? It's weird that cobblestone is like the one resource that I don't have very much of considering this is a sky block. And then there was a keybind to get into it. I don't remember what exactly it was, so I need to check that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. And then I think I probably wasted a lot of the coal in the plane. Do you know what? I should have saved the coal from the plane that fell. There we go. So there's the engine on it there. So what was the button for it? No, I'm just going to start pressing buttons until I find something. There we go. X. So if I just get some fuel in there. I don't know how much it uses. I can't go into... Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. What's the down button? See, shift is... Oh, I can, I can st stand on top of the blades. That's quite funny. Oh, no. It does just pull me through. I mean, there's got to be... There's got to be a down button. It can't just be that I have to wait to float down. Right, well, there's no keybind for it in the mod, unfortunately. So I think it is we just wait for it to descend itself. But this is a much better mode of transport between the islands than the plane. Do you know what? It even feels faster. Is that a charged baby creeper? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh! I ran out of fuel! <laughs> no, not again! Oh. oh, I made it back to my island! Oh, that was lucky. I thought I was going to have to bridge across again. Oh, what a waste. I need to keep better eye on the fuel, clearly. But I'm going to make another one. Oh, I've run out of andesite. I wondered what happened. It just stopped. It was really scary. But clearly... 
I was just being stupid and not paying attention to the fuel. There we go, just made a whole bunch of andesite. You know, thinking about it, I did have some wood in my inventory and if I was quicker thinking, I very easily could have just put that inside the furnace. Probably would have been enough to just to carry me home. Wait, hold on. Why is it burning the fuel? It's not constantly burning through fuel, is it, even when it's stationary? It is. It's just constantly burning fuel. Right, okay, so we don't keep fuel in there then. We can stay in here. Right, what's next on the old quest book? So planes, I've done a lot of planes. Let's just take all of my rewards. Skybucks. Guide to planes and helicopters. And some loot box. Oh, I've got some shears. Composter, planter. God, I've got a lot of stuff. So what does the book actually say about the mod then? Oh, I could put a chest on it. Oh, there's all sorts I can do. Alright, well, that's interesting. And then, next quest. So we've done the week enriching water. I kind of want to move on to the undergarden enriching water. But how do we get that? Depth rock pebble. So I guess I've got to go to the undergarden for that. So how do I get there? Okay, so that's how... Okay, there we go. So this is the quest that gets me to the undergarden exploration. So that's what I need to do because I think I've reached the end pretty much of all of these bits. So, I need polished deep slate, deep slate bricks. Let's just smash that out. I'm pretty sure I have some... I have one deep slate. How was it that I was getting it? Oh yeah, mix a stone and a flint. How much flint have I got? You know, I've got some gravel. Right, so I've just grinded through and got all of that deep slate. So let's just make some of it. I don't know how much we need for this. But there's a couple of quests completed there. Alright, so Scarpa's guidebook can be used to help make the portal to the Undergarden. The Skyopolis Guidebook. Did I get that? Right. How do I make a portal? Portals. The Undergarden. Right, so, okay. It's a normal portal of Deep Slate and a Catalyst. So, I do need a bit more of this then. Okay, that'll be enough. Where am I going to put this portal? Can monsters come through it? Because I don't want to be surprised by some monster just coming through and attacking me out of nowhere. So I will make it, I will make a little extension off the base. I might even head over to this spruce tree here and make it over there. I haven't, oh uh, no, I'm going to just shoot off the other side here. And then I need the catalyst. So how do I make this catalyst? Oh, super easy. Uh, I say that, but I did use up all my flint. Luckily, I think I had a bit of gravel left over. Right, I missed. It does take quite a while to get it all ground down. So I'm just going to do that. Right, we've got the flint. Let's make ourselves the catalyst. Now, I don't mind going in, really, because we've not got a massive amount that we can lose. I'll keep that. The waste. I haven't really got any organisation for this system yet. Uh, some more food would be nice, but luckily it's really easy to grow crops. I get loads of wheat in seconds. Just because this mod included like the shift growth thing. 
as well as loads of wheat um, wheat seeds. I don't really want them. Okay, but that's plenty of wood. I, I haven't got much armor or much of a weapon. I should probably make myself another pickaxe before I go in. Best I can make is a stone. See, yeah, this is why I need a new pickaxe. God damn it. I could make one with Tinker's Constructs, but I'm not there yet. I haven't got myself set up for that. Okay, so there's a pickaxe getting an upgrade. Right, let's head into the Undergarden. Oh, I get to keep the Catalyst. It's, hold on. Is there anything I want? Allows you to enter the undergun. Wait, can I not enter it without this token? Oh no, what's going to happen if I... Okay, it just tells me I need to obtain the undergarden token. That's fine. That's just one more annoying little step. I've already got this. So I just need a blank totem. So three flint and a bone. I feel like that's the exact amount of flint I was left with. Do I have any bones? I do. Hopefully this mixes together nice and easily. Do I consume it? No, I think I just need to have it on me. And what happens if I lose it while I'm in there? Do I get kicked out of the dimension? I kind of want to test that. Here we go, we're loading in. Nothing yet. Took a bit of time. Oh, we're in a cave. I don't think this place is all caves either. Ah, oh, I thought that was iron for a second. So what happens if I do that? Okay, not much. Oh. Ah. <gasps> ah. Uh, uh. Oh. Okay, why are you doing that to me? That was scary. Don't do that. Oh, I just, how did I get through again? I wasn't even in it. Okay, whatever. So, I need to find my way up to the surface. So what's this stuff? Droop fruit, and it's edible. Oh, this is a cool looking cave. Not seeing any mobs just yet. I've got a pebble. Which, I don't know. So what exactly was it I needed this place for? There's a tree. Okay, so I definitely need to get the tree, but what I'm looking to get this. So, a depth rock pebble, is that what I just picked up? Okay, so these are the pebbles I need for that. Shimmerweed. Something over there. Mushrooms. Oh! And a mob. Friendly mob? Oh, he's looking at me. He's not coming towards me. Okay, friendly. Stoneborn. I should have marked the portal on my map. I'll go back and find it in a second. I need to test if I can stand in this stuff. Okay. No, poisonous. Okay, there's nothing massively... Ah! I didn't realise that was the water there. I thought that was just blocks. Ah, oh, there's more of it! Oh, wait, we are. This is... This leads to the surface. Oh, careful with this liquid though. If I step in it again, I'm so dead. But look, it does, oh, what the hell is that? There's more things that I don't recognize. That thing looks like it's gonna attack me. Come on, surely I'm close enough now that it would attack me if it's going to. Luckily I've made some bread. Okay, yeah, he's coming for me. Ah! 
Oh, he survives in the water as well. I thought I could use the water to kill him. There's some sort of structure there. Ah! The hell are you? Birth control? Etheric shard. Slay the weakest of the... Ro okay, that was the weakest, so I shouldn't feel that proud of myself then. Oh wait, no, we're still not quite at the surface, but this is like a massive underground lake. That looks really cool. Right, these guys aren't aggressive. That's good. And I can successfully swim in this water. I see a structure over in the distance there. Let's go. Okay, I found something aggressive. These gwibs here are coming at me. Go away, gwib. Oh crap, what are these? Are you friendly? No, no, they're not friendly. And, I mean, they look way too strong for me. Gwibs, you stay away from me. I'm going to start killing your babies. That's what I want. Uh, I'm fro okay, I thought I was crashing then. I'm fine. Although I don't want to freeze again and then get attacked by this guy. Right, so what is this? I can hear something. Forgotten halls. Enter some catacombs. Oh. There's a drop shoot in the middle. No, it doesn't go anywhere. Is that a villager face on that stone? Kind of. These are all just filled with water. Is this just like the sewage system? Oh, there's something. Lots of spawners, lots of chests. There's something floating over there. Right, what's going to spawn? I don't really want to find out. Boom. Oh, there's more over there. Etheric shards. What are these used for? I don't know, but I can see things in the distance there. Frosty on the go. Oh, a pickaxe. That's probably better than the one I've got. I don't care for the music disc. Boon of the earth. Ores may be found when mining stone. That's good. Go away. Go away. Everyone go away. Oh! I don't know how much health I was on before that, but that, I'm quite low now. Ah! I didn't mean to open that chest and start floating towards him then. Okay, doesn't, I don't think they do that much damage. Oh! Too close. Stop opening the chests. Okay, now you can open the chest. Regalium crystal. Another pickaxe. And a shovel. Oh, and this just leads out to the ocean bit there. So I don't know if there would be an, a surface to this world, because it is called the Undergarden, isn't it? Makes sense for it to be a garden under everything. Which was my way out? Was it this way? It's just one guy. I can beat him easy. What the hell is that? Smog vent? Okay, that hurts. More frost steel. More shards. A jail cell. I can definitely hear them all around me. Right, I just want to check the other wing quickly and then I think we'll call it. Right, but I'm going to call the episode here. It's a very interesting little dimension we've got here. But in the next episode, we're going to have a bit more of a look into what we actually need from this place. And then we'll come back 
with a bit more knowledge. So thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Goodbye.